Welcome to the TR3B channel. Today we've got an amazing build for you. You can be overpowered early on in the Fallout 76 as low as level 30. Check this out. If you want a safe and cheap marketplace to bulk, buy or sell Fallout 76 items, make sure you use easy MPC use code TR3B to get 5% off. Links in the description. Right then people, here is my special stats on my level 65 character as you can see there. A little bit higher than usual because we are using unyielding armor. Check this out, look, this is the mutations and the only one that's important here is adrenal reaction because it's giving us that extra damage on the weapon, perhaps healing factor and perhaps speed demon. But here is the armor, it's unyielding, quite basic apart from a couple of bits, uh, they do have the increased action point refresh speed on them highly recommended just to get the AP boosted back up again this is the weapon we're using use any rifle to make sure it has it has got 25% less fast action points cost on it and you're gonna be blasting enemies here to kingdom come leveling up so fast with this special build you're gonna get over you're overpowered early on with this build with these weapons and the armor weapon as well that always works good here are the cards most important one here, Blocker, you're going to be taking a little, so much punishment when you're early on, you're going to be dying a lot. But if you've got these cards on like Blocker, you're going to, you're going to be blocking the damage, you will not die as much. Some more important cards here, Commando, get these cards on, make sure they're maxed out. Like I said, you know, from level 30, you can start using these cards all together and you'll be so overpowered. Ground Powder, reload your uh, rifles really fast. Tank Killer, you're going to be doing extra armor piercing or ignoring armor should i say 36 percent of that on your rifles amazing fireproof i'm meant to put that on free i'm going to take some off charisma and put that fireproof card on free brilliant card you're just avoiding more damage more flame damage more explosions with this card when you're early on low level you're going to need that this is a good card when you're on your own because you're getting the you're taking this damage and you're having more AP regen, you got inspirational there. Good when you're in a team, you're getting more XP. I only put one or the other on, I don't know why I've got two on there. I'm gonna take three points off charisma, put it on endurance, so that card fireproof is three star. Nerd rage, really important. Make sure you've got that on. You're a bloody build, always be a bloody build. Don't bother doing anything else, bloody is the best. Don't need to do anyone else, junkies, rubbish, anti-armor, just be a bloody build with these cards and you are going to do some serious damage. Action boys, because we're going to do that a lot, we're going to make sure that our, our AP points are as high as they possibly can be. We want to run, we don't want to walk, so put Marathoner on, so we can go straight into that after running. Such an important card. Sneak, if you want to do a bit of sneaking around, a bit of lurking, a bit of snipering, stick sneak on, brilliant card, must have. And this card is in all of my builds, very underrated, it's blocking having an extra health bar, your AP, if you get hit, your AP runs down first before you get hit. If you're taking some serious damage, you won't, because your AP takes the damage first before your hit point. Health bar does, brilliant card, bang it on. Next up, Gun Fu, I'll show you how this one works in a bit. Brilliant card, it's swapping between enemies and giving you a buff, a boost on the damage that you're doing in between each enemy. Brilliant card, must have works great in VATS and this because it is this build is slight you know it's a small like VATS build as well this VATS is stealth it's got a bit of everything that's what's so good about it and that's why it's, you're so overpowered early on in Fallout 76 at lower level bloody mess card brilliant 50% damage throughout the whole board of any weapon also turn your enemies into a gooey paste love it brilliant Grim Reaper Sprint another VATS card must have this stops your AP bar from going down so quick it is absolutely must have make sure you've got it on next up we've got serendipity part of the bloody build you're going to need this this is brilliant because you're almost 50 percent avoided all damage coming in it's absolutely must have card if you're a bloody which you should be better criticals brilliant card you're going to be doing more critical damage with your guns absolute must have brilliant start change just to make sure our mutations don't disappear what we're taking right away simple as that that is the build this is the build you need and you can get this from level 30 onwards 30 to level 50 when you're early on you're going to be so overpowered you're going to be getting so much XP leveling up so fast don't have to worry about any cards for now just get all these cards 
worry about all the other cards you want after you've done this build and I promise you, you will not be disappointed it's such a brilliant build this is the blocker card, working here look you can take so much damage just from the blocker card being on and obviously serendipity as well just look, we're absorbing damage the bar's hardly going down, I'm only level 65 but because this build is so overpowered we are not dying as much as you would be if you didn't know about these cards believe me, when I first started playing this game two years ago I didn't know what I was doing, no one did, you know what I mean? we kept dying, it was so annoying, we were looking for builds me now as a veteran, I can promise you this is a really good build if you're new to the game, you're getting into it get these cards first, I can't stress that enough don't worry about doing silly cards like um, you know, trying to carry more or getting food to do certain buffs is pointless do that after, do it after you level 100 get these cards, do this, get a half decent weapon I know it's a bit of a challenge but I always say to everyone get on our discord, go on our trade channel ask a whole brilliant community see what weapons they got trade, you better get all of a good weapon I promise you Grim Reaper Sprint, we'll go back to this one this is a really good card because if you have got a gun a weapon, a rifle, with that perk on there in the middle, 25% less fats action point cost. With this perk card on as well, Grim Reaper Sprint, your AP bar hardly ever goes down. It's such an amazing, overpowered build, this. Just check out this, that the AP hardly goes down at all. You can just sit there, blast them all day, collecting up the XP. It's brilliant. But I can't stress enough, just don't get any other cards apart from these especially you know if you're new to the game you don't know what cards you know really do what I've tested these out I know what work what cards work with what what weapons which mutations so make sure you get these mutations get half decent weapons stick these cards on and you'll be doing some de serious damage like this I'm only level 65 and look what I can do to these super mutants look I've just almost taken them out with a couple of shots it's so overpowered here half is very with some super mutants, he's always quite hard to kill. When I first started Fallout many years ago, these super mutants are really hard to kill. I'd definitely be dead about six times going on Arthur's Ferry. It was such a hard place to come when you're low level. Not anymore. You can do this. I know the Vesta made this game a little bit easier now for new players coming into it, but believe me, when I first started, it was a really hard game to get into. But we stuck with it, we stuck to our guns, and now we can pass down information that we know to you people coming in starting to play this game and this is the sort of damage you can do look at that look amazing this is a good place to come to test out your skills this is a capital built uh, capital building Charleston getting there there's a high level ghouls lurking around you can strike them down with furious anger with this build get into that get on that critical button if you hear that little noise that means it's ready to strike you hit that Y button or that triangle button then shoot you'll be taken down on one or two shots you're also obviously saving ammo you're killing them quickly you're leveling up and that is why this build is so good also and any anti-armor rifles are also really good with this build as well you can tear through the, the opponents really fast get that most important XP that you need when you're low level you just want XP don't we? when you first start this game what I did anyway I wanted XP or weapons and plans basically obviously plans are uh, not included in this video but that is basically it you just want to get XP level up fast and that's how you do it give that a go